Ape Army. Ha <laughs> ha. Polly without his glasses. I got a few minutes here before I go to work. Just to, uh, in case you guys are watching, how much AMC is still shooting. Don't you know that you are a shooting star? So, Germany uh, rocked it out yesterday while the uh, markets were closed. Hope you had a good Memorial Day. I grilled out some steaks, chicken, shrimp, bratwurst for a good buddy of mine and his family in uh, Carmel, North Indianapolis, and, and a couple other friends. Uh, cooked out over an open fire. I've never done that before, like for you know major stuff, anything other than just hot dogs and mushrooms. It was great. Of course, I was watching the ticker uh, when I could do it without being rude on the side because I don't like getting my phone out when I'm in front of people having at a gathering. But uh, the big news is Adam Aaron announcing this morning that AMC has sold 8.5 million shares to Mundrak Capital. Um, God, he's so endearing. You know, he doesn't have a check part next to his name. And he did a thread this morning, but he didn't do a thread. He did a, a five-part tweet numbered and didn't know how to make that into a thread. So you got to just find him along his timeline. It's so funny. I love that, that Adam Aaron has engaged us in social media and realized that, you know, we're the people that, you know, are propping this company up right now. And he needs to, you know, please us. So he's getting on the Twitter machine this morning early to announce this news and doesn't know how to do a thread. But uh, it's great. I mean, I think, you know, every squeeze needs a catalyst. And I think that our squeeze is going to be a mixture of a lot of catalysts. Obviously, the infinite feedback loop from the options, the, the known data of the heavily shorting situation. No masks at the theaters announced this weekend. Cruella crushed it at the box office. So did uh, A Quiet Place. So Adam Aaron says, in our, in our view, this is not mindless dilution, but rather this is a very smart raising of cash so we can grow this company. To many of you on Twitter to grow your company, watch out naysayers. AMC is going to play on offense again. Here we come. That was the, the part five of five. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but they sold 8.5 million shares at $27 each. Hey, at least they got a premium this time. Last time they sold shares, they got like nine dollars and ninety-five cents. But the news seems to be received pretty good. Uh, Germany got us up to about right where we're at right now. About thirty dollars and forty-eight cents is where we sit. When the market opened this morning, it took a dip. Um, like the pre-market, uh, foreign markets took a dip, but then uh, the news came out and it's been ever since going up. Um, we're going to test $36 again today and uh, we're going to be a lot closer. This could be, I mean, I said that we sometimes need a, a, a second or third test of resistance to break it. Um, but I think that this, you know, news and this catalyst that has us up 17% in after hours. <laughs> and, 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 and it's, it was a little earlier kind of testing over $30 under over $30 under back and forth seems to be holding 30 pretty strong now at $30 and 55 cents. I've seen it go up to 30 77 this morning already. Um, I don't know if that was the high, but that's what I saw. It's fantastic. So what's going to happen? I have four scenarios in mind and three of them are good. The only really bad scenario was be, would be if we got smacked at $36 and went all the way down and somehow they got us shorted below 20. Because if they get us shorted below $20, and I don't think this is a very high likelihood, um, you know, it, it could keep burning off with, with people, you know, going, oh, wow, you know, that, that was it. That was the squeeze. I missed it, <laughs> which we all know that was not the squeeze. That's the only bad scenario I see. If they knock us down and we consolidate like we were consolidating, you know, around $25, $26 after the last smackdown, 
Um, I, that was a great channel to be consolidating in, very healthy. If we consolidate today somewhere between $25 and $30, trade sideways, consolidate, that'll be a great scenario. If we can maintain here above 30, get smacked at 36 and, and consolidate between 30 and $36, that would also be a great scenario because we'll be close to knocking at the door and we'll be establishing more and more support um, for the for these levels of the stock. And then the last scenario is, is at the bell. If we're around where we're at right now, we're close enough to smash through 36 with some serious buying pressure, which I think there will be. And then we'll just have to see if we can maintain that. Um, Guys, remember when you break resistance, I mean, don't don't cheer right away because it can come right down. We want to close above 36 or maintain a big fat candle that opens and closes above 36, like for an hour. That would be uh, really, really, really good. And then um, if that happens, it, we'll test 40 uh, <laughs> pretty close, you know, in a pretty tight timeline. We'll be testing 40. Um, same thing could get smacked there, come back down. Um, if that happens, we probably won't come back down below 28. I mean, if you see what's happening, I've been talking about this, you know, higher highs and higher lows. Um, don't expect, um, the, the mother of all short squeezes every single day, but God, we're looking good. Um, speaking of that, the CEO of GameStop, um, put something on social media that was very, very, very cryptical. And if you, took the first letter of each word or something it, it, it spelled out Moas. So believe you me, the CEOs of these companies know what the hell's going on and they are going to try and do what they can do with, you know, within reason to create these catalysts. Um, you know, we were expecting some news. I'm sure Adam Aaron will be talking about this news of the sale on trade trades. Uh, by the way, I broke my glasses today, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go to the eye doctor. I'm gonna have to talk to my boss about taking a long break today and going to the eye doctor. I I uh, came home after a long day of grilling and and, and partying. Um, did not drive drunk. That's very bad. I did not do that. Um, but my glasses were right down here, kind of hidden next to my couch, and I was looking for them. And then I came over with my cup of coffee and crush broke those glasses. They were old. I think the prescription was old. So it was probably a blessing in disguise. We're sitting right at about $30 and 55 cents. Oh, just jumped up 65 cents. It's fun to watch guys, isn't it? Um, it it's, it's part of history that we're doing here. The, the the rise of the retail investor in 2021 is going to be is going to be a thing to be holding and um as much as you know some of you might think well they're 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 going to keep this game rigged you know um you're probably probably right but i i really think that they're going to have to start recognizing us and they want us to keep this money in the market so we're going to be making money off of this. I already, I've already made a ton. I haven't, I haven't sold one share, but I'm up a ton. You know, people like me and you that are making this new money in the market, they're going to want to keep it in there. So I really think all these rules that are being put in place are being put in place to control the squeeze for the Fed and uh, BlackRock to make money off the squeeze when the liquidations start and for us to gain some faith in the system by uh, monitoring these types of uh, shady uh, situations and, and making sure they don't happen again. If this goes down the way I think it will, I don't think there'll ever be another squeeze like this in history. I really do. And you all know that and you all that have been following know that I've, I've been saying that since you know March. Kids don't smoke, it's bad for you. Not that the companies have learned their lesson and they're not going to short. Uh, that's going to continue to happen, but th they're going to have to have collateral for these shorts. They're not going to they're not going to be able to over leverage themselves on the shorts. And there's people already saying, well, yeah, but what if this company Mundrak Capital 
Uh, am I getting the name of them right? The company that Adam Aaron sold to. I think it's Mundrak. What if they sell to the shorters to turn around and make interest off their shares and make those shares available to shorters? Great. You know, if you talk to people that have really been in this movement for a long time, we don't mind when the stock gets shorted. We get pissed when they do it illegally and we, you know, want rules to keep it from happening again. But for now, we're taking advantage of the situation. That's what this is all about. We're taking advantage of their hubris and they're over leveraging. So if, if this Mundrake Capital decides to sell all 8 million of those shares out on the market for shorting, it, it's not it's not a good short thesis. It's not a good short plan. What have the shorts done so far except for lose hundreds of billions of dollars trying to short this company? So if they want to keep shorting it, that's fine. That just keeps fueling the rocket. So guys, I'm going to get off here because I got to go got to go to work. It's sitting at $3, $30.50 $30 right now. Unbelievable, up 17% in the after hours. I think we're going to have a hell of a week here. Um, just always be prepared for pullbacks. Don't get disappointed if if it doesn't reach our goals, you know, uh, instantaneously. Um, this has been a long play for those of you that have just come in this. We've been in this for months and it takes patience and it takes conviction. So uh, this is Polly saying, without his glasses, fuck the 1%. And uh, have a great day. And uh, let's make lots of money. I got the brains. You got the whatever.